In London, it's not just horrible traffic people have to contend with. Now there's a skyscraper that's striking fear into those down below. A quirk in the design of the glass in the building is being blamed for melting cars and shattering tiles. We sent our own Stuart Greer to find out just how hot it really is. It is literally London's hottest property. Turns out this new $320 million skyscraper is reflecting the sun's rays into a beam of light so powerful that it's scorching everything below. 50, still going up. It's melted the mirror and panels of cars. It's cracked tiles and blistered the paint on businesses across the street. It's even set a barber's doormat smoldering. Smelled of burning. We looked back, there was a car on the corner front, front door. And we realize it's on fire. Still under construction, the tower has been nicknamed the Walkie Scorchy Building. Pedestrians are shocked by the sudden blast of heat when walking by. My feet are actually burning as well. Yeah. The effect only lasts about two hours a day when the sun's at its peak, but temperatures can pass 107 degrees Celsius. Well, they really aren't kidding. We've been standing here for about two minutes and already I'm sweaty and my skin feels like it's blistering, but is it hot enough to fry an egg? Ow, frying pan's hot. And the hottest spot is 134 degrees on the panhandle. My panhandle's 134 yes. four degrees. Four degrees. Ow, no wonder it's so hot. Don't touch it. The effect is due to the unusual parabolic or dish-shaped design of the building. The vast area is collecting a load of solar energy and it's concentrating it into a smaller area. Why well, it's so ridiculously hot down here at the moment. The phenomenon is nothing new. The principle was discovered by the ancient Greeks and it's how the Olympic torch is lit. The developers have been left with, well, ache on their face and are scrambling to find a fix. Scaffolding will be erected to shield the sidewalk across the street from what some are now calling the death beam. Well, it isn't pretty, but there you go. Fried egg. London street food. Seems there are plenty of culinary competitors on this curb. But it all ends in a couple of weeks when the autumn sun dips below the skyline. Until then, Londoners and visitors alike will be basking in the beam of the city's newest and hottest tourist attraction. Stuart Greer, Global News, London.